Hi guys, it's Renisti. I'm here today to bring a one-of-a-kind FHM series documenting the rise of Turn Red, aka the Jamaican sensation, aka Barry McCockiner, as he goes from watching a bobsled documentary and loving winter sports randomly, to trying to get a job in the NHL, and to eventually get a Stanley Cup ring on his finger. To recap last episode, he had a choice between three hockey clubs that somehow made either the genius or mind-numbingly stupid decision to offer him a job. In the Royal Military College Paladins, the Toledo Walleye, and the Maine Mariners. You guys in the YouTube comments section have spoken, as well as those on Reddit who chimed in with their own suggestions, but a general majority was agreed upon, and the decision has been made. Is it possible to do a bit more than 12? How about 8.9? Ah, you're, uh, you're really spicing things up here, my friend. 8.7. Jesus Christ, man. You want to actually give me the job? Fine, 10.5. Were we not at 12 earlier? 7.7. .7. Jesus Christ! Fine, 10.5 again. Oh my God! Fine, I'll re-up my offer to 12k, but that's the most I'm giving you. Take it or leave it, Barry. You don't exactly have much of a CV to back you up. Fine, it's done. You have a new GM in Toledo. First email we got. Welcome to the Toledo Walleye organization. As the new GM, you currently have a two-year contract worth 12 grand a year. The team is owned by Joe Napoli, the guy who in this game at least, tried to shaft me out of some money, which apparently he's swimming in, but just can't seem to put more than 12k on the table. But either way, either way, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. And your objective is straightforward. Win the championship. Well, that's, uh, that's certainly some pressure on Barry's shoulders, isn't it? To meet your goals, you'll have a $400,000 budget, a total of $261,000 with $999 left, is currently allocated to active players, we suggest you have a look at the team's roster, depth chart, and personnel to get familiar with the organization. I plan on doing that. Thank you very much. The ECHL trade deadline is on March 7th, 2024. The salary cap... Wait, there's a salary cap in this league? Oh, f***. And there's no salary floor. Well, f***. What would the floor be? A f***ing Arby's dinner? We have the meat. All right, so... Let's get down to business. The first thing that we're prompted to do on the top right corner here is assign some scouts. So let's take a look at this. Oh boy, we only have three scouts? What? Uh, okay, wait. Oh, that's the free agent scouts. So we only have three scouts? I don't know if that's normal for the ECHL. Like, I'm still obviously getting used to things here. And this Jerry McConnell guy, what a legend. He's going all the way to Riga. Have fun in Latvia, my friend. Uh... Can we send someone to the Edmonton? Actually, realistically, the guys who end up doing pretty good in that tournament, they're going to be in the NHL. So we'll just uh, save some money and resources and just continue like that. Let's take a look at the monthly budgets. Uh, starting points. Yeah, no, we need to be a little more. Uh, let's at least have some scouting strength. Uh, player morale, let's put it at plus three. Just because we want to have as little conflict as possible, and if we're literally doing nothing to make the players happy, then uh, yeah, there's less chance of uh, you know fully content locker room here. And since there's no games, I'm not going to change anything with this here. The game promotions and arena operations. Let's take a look at the annual finances. We'll raise ticket price by two dollars because we are trying to make money here, not just keep it you know flat. Uh, we'll use. 0.3 points to get another 32 grand in the free agent budget, which will be huge. And us trying to get somebody else, uh, you know, who might not be called up by, let's say, Detroit because Toledo is Detroit's EZHL affiliate or even Grand Rapids, if they're even the ones to call them up. But you get the idea. We just want to have some of our guys who are our own and they can't be signed or called up, whatever. Because, you know, the salary cap is roughly, what, 312 grand, but... We do need to have some wiggle room, let's say, if we want to send a guy down to the minors or whatever else. I mean, if there even are minors in the ECHL. Either way, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's do normal market spending. And, oh, well, if we do this, rep point three points. Because the thing is, development is a very important thing in this game, I find, from playing it before. Is there any way we can move this around just for 
now maybe. Well, you know what? We'll keep we'll keep it flat. Okay, perfect. You know, keep the maintenance. Uh, we'll keep it as a good quality arena. You know, don't need to improve the quality just yet because, well, as you can see, we don't have the revenue points for that. So now the budgets are set. Let's take a look at the roster. Jan Bednar. I've actually seen this guy play in real life. He's a really, really good goalie. It was great for Bathurst when I uh, went to see him a couple of times. John, holy s***. So the consensus is that this guy is way out of his league, which is good for us. But he's on Detroit's payroll, so we might not be able to have him. In that case, we might need to look for a third goaltending option. We'll, uh, we'll keep that in mind. Any other people on Detroit's payroll on the roster? Doesn't look like it. Okay, this Oren Santazo guy, he used to play for Kamloops, right? I remember his name somewhat well. Let's take a look here. The defenseman, we need what? We dress 18 players in the ECHL, so give or take three lines, three D pairs, and an extra forward. How good is this uh, prop of S, this guy? He's a good two-way defenseman by the looks of it. His positioning's all right. How about what about stay-at-home defenseman? He's good for that. Old school. His temperament's pretty good, though, so that's uh, that's always good to see. Matt Anderson, uh, former Minnesota Duluth Bulldog, as you can see in the bottom there. Are you better as a rushing defenseman or as a quarterback? So if you can't tell, on the top here it says red equals important skill. You'll notice that whenever I move the clicker over this, will be red. Initially, I used to think that, uh, you know, these skills would decrease while the green one improved. And then I realized, read the damn text, Renisti. It's uh, the green one's the most important one, but the red is also important as well. So offensive read and speed. We'll make him a quarterback since his offensive read is two ratings better than his speed. There you go. That was the skill needed. Adrian Baraldo, let's take a look at what you are. We'll just make you a stay-home defenseman by default. Positioning, increased clearing. Yeah, you're roughly the same. So we'll see if we need a crease clearing defenseman at the end of the day. But right now, we'll just keep you where you are. Positioning and acceleration, roughly the same. But I'll make you a mobile defenseman. Or even, no, just a two-way Riley McCourt. Thomas Farrell, you are noticeably a two-way defenseman. So we'll keep you there. This Jake Willets guy, same story. Pretty good positioning, actually. He could be a... I have a feeling he'll be like one of those sneaky good players for us in this game. Will Cullen. Ooh, he's... Now we're talking. This is a one of our better defensemen here, if you can't tell. So shooting range is 16, which is actually really good for an ECHLer. Yeah, we'll make you a point shooter. You kidding me right now? We need one. Our defensive core is set. Uh, we'll just dress for now. We'll dress everybody, and we'll keep Beraldo on the sidelines. No, uh, no offense to you, buddy, if you somehow you find this video. Now let's take a look at the forwards, this Brandon Hawkins guy. He's more set to be a playmaker than, you know, a power forward. Yeah, he's a playmaker. So we'll just make him a setup man since it does appear that his stats favor that slightly. Yeah, there you go. Stick checking is more important than face-offs, at least for a setup man. Or in Santazo, you know what? Screw it. We'll make him a dangler because... Uh, his stats seem to favor that, or even a perimeter shooter. You know what? I, I rarely use danglers myself, so I'll make him a perimeter shooter. Uh, Brandon Cruz. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name there, mate. His passing's good. Face-offs are kind of meh, at least in the game. I don't know how he is in real life. Offensive read's pretty good. So we will make him a, we'll a counter-attacking forward. Uh, Kirill Tyotayev, little Russian guy here. His stats would seem to favor playmaker. Yeah, playmaker. Chase Grisok. I feel like you'll be a FHM legend for me. I don't know why. I just get that vibe from you. And considering the fact that playmaker is the one main role where they're like, yeah, you know what? You're pretty good at that. We'll stick you there. Mitch Lewandowski, former Michigan State Spartan. I, uh, I respect it. Make you a playmaker as well. Actually, yeah, playmaker. We don't need too many uh, counterattacking forwards. Carson Denomi. Okay, we'll keep you as a screener then. Riley Sawchuk. Is he related to Terry? I'm actually curious. We'll, we'll make him a counterattacking forward. He seems like he'll do well. Patrick McGrath. Let's take a look at what you got. Oh, we got a grunt. Holy s***. We got a 20-rated goon and enforcer. Yeah, you are going to drop the gloves for us, buddy. Aggression 19. Fighting 16. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty good. So we have a goon on our team. We love it. Patrick McGrath. I wonder if this guy's missing any jibs. Conlon Keenan. Sorry if I butchered that. A couple of seasons with the Walleye. Played with Tulsa a couple of years back. Seems like a decent ECHL guy. I'm surprised his ratings are this low, though. Clearly, in this game, he's meant to be a depth forward. I don't know how he's playing for Toledo in real life, but we'll just get him going as a shadow because his checking seems pretty good. Actually, you know what? No, we'll make him a two-way forward. His defensive reads probably his best stat. It is. Darian Pilon. Uh, we'll make you a back checking forward. Yeah, you know what? No, grinder. 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 Sam Craggs. This guy looks like he'll be sent down, at least in the game. I really hope he's better than this in real life because by ECHL standards, this guy's character is dog shit. So we'll just... Uh, oh, he's on the trade block. Poor guy. Let me just reduce the salary cap a little bit for us. Let's... Dress, however, wait, are our goalies dressed? We're not dressing this guy because he's probably going to get called up. So we won't mess with our roster right off the hop. And the Sam Sternsheen, I hope I pronounced that right. Seems like more of a playmaker. Two shooting range? Jesus Christ, man. That's, uh, that's not great. Yeah, he might get sent down too at this point. There you go. Sorry, you got to send, you got to get sent down. Beraldo will keep him on the roster because he's ECHL caliber. Clearly, just needs to develop a bit more. Because I mean, you know, right now he's a half star ability, but he has one and a half star potential, which you know could develop into a nice, let's say, you know, 11, 12 rated clearing, uh, clearing or stay at home defenseman. All right, now lines after mishmashing a whole bunch with our roles and lines this is what i think our team should look like to start with there will obviously be some changes some guys might get signed some guys might you know get sent down and then we're gonna bring a few guys in i'm hoping to sign at least two or three new players as barry mccockiner we'll take a look at the free agent center now so we got a bunch of what nhl fans might call has-beens yeah brian elliott you know what, just for shits and gigs, I did say I would try and bring Phil Kessel to the ECHL. Oh well, we tried. Is there any guys that have just come out of the CHL that might need a landing spot? A couple goalies. You know, we'll, we'll take a look at this Roman Basrin guy. He was a really good Mississauga Steelhead, I remember way back when. So you want 11.5K? Go right ahead, bud. Sure. You know, you're not eating up a whole bunch of cap. Uh... This Mitchell Smith guy from Saginaw. Contract max. Limit reached. Well, wait, you're only allowed to have 23 guys under contract? Oh, man, I should have looked into this. I'm going to feel like a major asshole right now because I have to get someone out of here. Maybe even a couple guys. Okay, well, this Sturge Sheen guy, how good is he at the semi-pro level? Oy. Not that great. Uh, sorry, buddy. You gotta go. Sam Craggs. Yeah, you're you're gone as well. I'm sorry. You seem like a good player in real life. Just sadly, in this game, you're not up to snuff. All right. With that, we now have two more spots. I'm hoping to get another defenseman on board. Let's try and get this Mitchell Smith guy that I saw earlier. There you go. Eleven grand in a year. This seems too good to be true. This seems way too good to be true. He. He's clearly talented. I mean, four-star potential, he could easily go pro, or farther in pro at least. And then let's get another forward in here because, you know, let's say one of our main guys gets hurt. That's uh, the last thing we need. Are we even legally allowed to sign someone this young? I don't know if we're going to get in trouble with the league for this. Nolan Patrick. Oh, that sucks what happened to him, man. I wish him all the best in his future endeavors as Renisti and Barry McCockner obviously wishes him his best as well. Oh, Zachary a guy I used to watch closely when i used to go to blaineville games all right so we'll go yeah these three i do want to sign this javin moore kid but the thing is would he be drafted in the nhl like he's way too young to be in the echl i don't know how the hell we even are able to negotiate with this kid and his potential is crazy too it's five stars so he's gonna play pro whether at the nhl level or let's say in europe that remains to be seen but he's clearly good Let's, you know what, for now, we'll just keep these three negotiations ongoing. And if, let's say, one of these goes belly up, we'll then offer Javin Moore a contract. 
think that's about it for the first day. Let's, uh, let's sim to day two. Oh, okay. So, wow. We got an international job offer and it's with the Austrian national team. You know what? Barry, you're a multitasker, goddammit. Let's go. All right, and the Orlando Solar Bears have asked us for a trade. This Tanner Schenkel guy, I really hope. Oh, this is going to be a rough one for me to pronounce. But we'll, we'll see how good he is. Seems like a depth guy at the ECHL level. And who do they want? Conlon Keenan. No. I think that Conlon Keenan deserves better. I want to give him a chance. No. Well, let's take a look at these ones, though. What? Cam York is a Chicago Blackhawk. Also, I don't know what's going on with the jerseys here, but I don't like it. It's every jersey. Even Barry's ties messed up a little bit. In Florida and Buffalo. Losta Ryan for Weiss back. Oh, my God. Corey Perry draws interest. Oh. Wait. He's going to Czechia. I'm surprised he's not going to fucking St. Petersburg. That's hilarious. Corey Perry to Europe. We love it. Let's check the free agent center. As of right now, uh, we did lose one of the negotiations. Mitchell Smith did. Uh, we didn't even. Okay, here we go. Mitchell Smith, are you kidding? I'm a young man. I'm on the upswing of my career. Why shouldn't I test the market to see what I could get? To be frank, another team has already made me a better offer. If you're going to match that, you better hurry up. My decision is almost made. Negotiate offer. Sorry, I'm not interested. Oh, well. He was someone I was hoping to get on board. But hey, you know what? Now we can try and get that extra forward. Because realistically, defensively, we're doing okay. I don't think that uh, defense is our biggest problem. We actually do need a center. A Javin Moore guy, he's... Asking for quite a bit for a 17-year-old. Let me ask. 17 grand? All right, fine. I'll meet you halfway. All right, so we'll just see how this goes. Let's send to day three because there's not much else to look at. Okay, so a bunch of guys got bought out in the NHL. Jesus. All right, we only got one negotiation update. Toledo could be very well where I lace up my skates next year. Fantastic, Javen. Or Javin, I don't even know how to pronounce your name, mate. Sorry. Your offer is good, but I want to take some time to consider all options. Perfect. So far, so good. All these are were the front runners to land all of them. Phil Kessel. Again, Pardubica. They're trying to get Perry and Kessel. My God. Good for them. It'll just be a dumpster fire, but good for them. So far, so good. Negotiations remain the same. Let's just move on to the next day. A trade proposal from the Reading Royals. Austin Master for Conlon Keenan. No, thank you. So July 6th, we could see something. All right, July 7th. Let's, uh, let's see if anything is solidified in terms of contracts. It's been about a week now of free agency. It's been a week since Barry took over the job as Toledo Wall IGM slash head coach. Okay, one, two, three. Boom! We got Bazarin, who, oi. Even still, we, we need to have a goalie option. We do need to have a goalie option. Uh, Zachariwa, he, yeah, no, he looks pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm, in, I'm actually happy with this signing. You know, he was a bruiser in the queue, so I like this. And Javin Moore, even, wow, he's 17, he's already at 10 rate counterattacking forward. Yeah, good signing. We'll see how this guy does in the ECHL. And then this guy, Jimmy Lodge, who is in semi-pro for Conlon Keenan. No. Uh, Roman Bazarin, you want to wear number one? You're our number one, goddammit. And Javin Moore, sure, wear number seven. I don't care. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. We've got a few guys in the Toledo Walleye. We actually made the decision to join the Walleye. In the next episode, we will go through the entire preseason and potentially see who gets sent down, called up. You get the idea. It's an affiliate team. You'll know the drill soon enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.